As Tim Cantor has come to understand the nature of his imagination and how people react to his art, his mind has formed a unique way of conceiving images that put the viewer in the position of determining their own feelings and fate. It is within this unique sensitivity that the core of his art exists. Because of the picturesque quality of Tim's haunting depictions of landscapes and ethereal trees, this exceptional effect fosters further consideration. These paintings have become some of his most beloved and recognised. At first sight, they catch the eye with their tangible beauty, but deep within each reflective composition, he tells an intense and compelling story through his vibrant portrayal as well as his evocative writings. His renowned paintings of these enigmatic trees have come to symbolise the transience of life with each lovely but fleeting phase of their existence. One of his most prominent paintings that manifests this theory is titled Beauty's Privilege. Among the shattered branches and tree trunks in beauty's privilege, life thrives and illuminates the dormant setting. To give the tree ascending motion, Tim painted the crimson-coloured leaves soaring upwards toward the sky. He incorporated vines spiralling through the trunk and branches to further add to the sense of life emanating from the tree. Beauty's privilege is a profound study entirely expressed through organic nature, in which Tim Cantor rendered an emotional impression of loss, love, and ultimately finding beauty in the midst of tragedy. Five years after the completion of Beauty's Privilege, Tim Cantor began the conceptual renderings for another memorable composition, titled The Hollows. As with Beauty's Privilege, it appears as though a mysterious yet beautiful tree has blossomed before the viewer's eyes. It is a vibrantly rich representation of a growing twisted tree with delicate white blossoms spiralling, taken with the wind. Upon closer inspection, it begs the eternal questions that are left unanswered in this life. Found deep within its evergreen setting, the solitary white tree is an indication of hope that one day we might come to understand why. Over the years, other introspective compositions have presented themselves, such as Grassland, Ghosts of Crows, and The Pathos of Things. These three paintings take a more personal, insightful journey for both the artist and the viewer. Grassland deliberately conveys the importance of fighting to live each moment to the fullest, while Ghosts of Crows shares a touching story about the ones who have left us and how they will continue to live on within our memories. The pathos of things derives from the Japanese saying mono no aware, which in its literal translation means awareness of things. In essence, this painting was created to evoke feelings of sensitivity and bring a higher consciousness to the notion that the most precious thing in life is its uncertainty. Once again, a question presents itself to the viewer. Does one perceive sadness or feel strength in the allure of these flourishing trees? For some, the answer is as compelling as the contrast between life and death. Simple beauty becomes exceedingly appreciated because Tim Cantor has rendered us the reminder that things age, they may become harmed, and inevitably, they do die. Quintessentially, his enduring compositions impart a vital message to feel fortunate and cherish life while it is in bloom.